BBC News at four o'clock. King Charles has attended the Easter Sunday church service at Windsor Castle in his first major public appearance since revealing he had cancer in February. He appeared well and smiled as he shook hands with a number of well-wishers afterwards. Prince William and the Princess of Wales, who's also receiving cancer treatment, did not attend the service. In his Easter sermon, the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, praised the King and Catherine. There are moments which change us forever. Sometimes it's individual. We have watched and sympathised with and felt alongside the dignity of the King and the Princess of Wales as they have talked of their cancer and in doing so by their lack of selfishness, by their grace and their faith boosted so many others. The Archbishop of Canterbury also used his Easter address to call for evil and pain across the world to be confronted and to insist that the church is not party political. Justin Welby has faced some criticism for voicing opposition in the House of Lords to the government's plans to send some asylum seekers to Rwanda. The Pope has delivered his traditional Easter Mass and blessing in St. Peter's Square in the Vatican. He called for a ceasefire in Gaza and the release of hostages. Concerns had been expressed about his health after he pulled out of the Good Friday procession. The Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is to undergo surgery for a hernia tonight. He'll have the operation under general anaesthetic after discussing the Gaza conflict with his war cabinet. The Deputy Prime Minister Yariv Levin will stand in temporarily. And Beyoncé fans who pre-ordered her latest album Cowboy Carter on vinyl are reporting that five songs are missing. It's not clear if all vinyl copies are affected. Fans have also said that CDs of the album are missing four tracks. Vinyl copies are produced well in advance of an album's release and Beyoncé may have added the songs said to be missing later. BBC News.